welcome to The Breakdown. I'm your host, Diane Rembert, avid reader, award-winning literary blogger, and the founder of Diamonds Literary World, which is my footprint in the literary industry. Today, I want to talk to you about um, an Oprah book club selection, which is also a New York Times bestseller. Um, I know you guys probably have seen my video where I'm like, where is Oprah getting these books from? However, she shut me up with this particular book. I'm talking about none other than Cane River. Cane River uh, came highly recommended uh, from my literary twin, Robert, from Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. Go check him out. Um, and I've heard quite a few others talk about it as a book club selection. Um, I am a little late to the party, but you guys know I love historical fiction. Cane River really, really, really did something to my spirit. Um, here we have seven generations of women that started out in slavery and ended up in modern day times. We're talking about an actual family who have, a, a, they have documents and written accounts. Um, they have legal documents that are showing um, how they uh, began as slaves to French Creoles. That was another thing that I learned. I learned what actual, how actual Creole people came about. They are actually French people um, who uh, were in the, uh, I don't know if they primarily were in the Louisiana area, but that is the basis for the Creole people, French. And so they started out as property to Creoles and now um, you have Lolita Tademi, uh, who was a, she was, I, I believe, working at a Fortune 500 company. And she started to research her heritage or her genealogy, if you will. And it became this amazing 536 page book. Yes, I counted because every page stood for something. The book was written in three parts. Um, about the three strongest women in uh, the family. They are known as the women of Cane River, all of African descent. Um, these women spoke French. Um, and But the one thing about them, for the exception of two, the first uh, matriarch was married to a black man. Um, and he happened to live on the same plantation for a while. The book goes through all of that. Um, but it shows how, uh, the slave owners or just white men, French men in general would come and set sights on these young black women and, um, finagle their way into their lives, impregnate them, have tons of babies with them. Um, one woman uh, said, you know, how she felt like she had been used because once um, they had, some of them lived, you know, cohesively um, as a couple, but they could not marry. The law permit, did not permit them to marry. So they would have relationships with these women. They would be in love with these women. They would take care of their children. They lived as a family. Um, they interacted with the family. It, there was no, um, you know, sneaking off or anything. Like it was open and everybody knew about it, but they had to go and live or marry white women and for society's sake. And you know, it was just really interesting to learn the history, the genealogy, and how um, the bloodline, got, I don't want to say got thinner, but I guess that's the proper word to use. Um, how it just went from one uh, sphere to yet another to where you have descendants who can now pass for white and some of them did actually leave Cane River um, in order to live the life of you know of a white Frenchman um, that was quite interesting um, 
you also saw a lot of heartbreak and a lot of pain, but you also saw where the children were taken care of. Women were um, inheriting hundreds of acres of land. They were um, self-sufficient women who, although they had someone taking care of them, they were able to provide for themselves. Um, they taught one another um, how to um, how to embroider and how to cook and how to farm, how to, they, they taught them so many things. And then there were some who were privileged enough to go to, um, go to private school, if you will. Now imagine, this is back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. So because uh, the book was written, I want to say the book was written in the early, early 2000s. I, I might be mistaken about that, but, but the actual accounts, they stopped at 1976 because there was an aunt who, uh, you know, the griot, uh, if you will, of the family who told the lineage and what a strong lineage it was. Um, I am so enthralled with this book that I cannot wait to um, read more by Lolita to Demi. Um, I know she has Red River. Red River um, is very similar. But I wanted to tell you guys, as I was reading this book, um, I was in the put in the mindset of a roots, if you will. Um, you, you guys know that past, that generation, that genealogy was so rich. And there were a lot of names and at some point, you know, it became a TV series. I could see Kane River um, being turned into a movie because or a series. It's just too much to put into one movie. I could see that. Like, this is a book I would love to see. Maybe one day, maybe somebody is hearing me. Maybe Oprah's working some deal out in the back end. I don't know. But it reminded me of Roots. It also reminded me of another book that spoke of that period, which is Jubilee by Margaret Walker, one of my favorite books. Um, you hear me talk about it often. I love historical fiction. I love books that tell a story. Um, I'm, I, I especially love Civil War, post-Civil War. I love that era. Like, I love to see how we migrated as a people, you know, to see where we started off and where we are now, and to know that the possibilities are absolutely endless. We are um, our own, um, we are our own, uh, not, I, I don't want to say worst critic, but we are our own competition, if you will. We, it, there's no one stopping us but us. Okay, so this is an inspiration. I definitely would encourage all of my book buddies, all of my booktubers who are watching this video, please go and pick up Kane River. Um, like I said, I almost didn't want to put it down. I put it down because I had to, because my eyes just, just died down on me. They closed up. But other than that, you know, and I was dealing with the allergies and, you know, I just kept dealing, putting eye drops in my eyes and I kept pressing my way because I absolutely loved this book. I love her style of writing. I love the fact that she added pictures of actual family members, including herself as a little girl um, within this book. So please go and pick up Cane River. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. Um, I don't know what took me so long to, uh, to, to, to get this book, but I'm glad I did. So go and check that out. Um, it is... I want to say less than five dollars if you get the ebook. I'm not sure about the paperback, but go and pick up this book. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the video. Thank you for leaving the comments. If you've read the book, please let me know your thoughts. I would love to have some sort of a discussion with you because there were some amazing women in this book. Um, I want to know your thoughts about. Um, the Night Riders, if a said, you know, individual did not do what was expected of them, you know, or what was acceptable in society, um, they would first get a knock on the door if they did not adhere to said rules. 
um, then they received a visit from the Knight Riders, which we know to be the Ku Klux Klan. Um, and so, you know, mysterious accidents would happen. And they talk about that in the book as well. So I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, please leave me uh, a comment in the comment section. To anyone who has not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can keep up with my videos um, and what I've been doing. I've been absolutely loving my time. Um, I've been loving my time just catching up with our history, our, our rich history. Um, we are more than 28 days in the month of February. Please know that. And I normally uh, take a little more than February, but this year I have made it my mission to um, read throughout the year. Now, I, I, you know, I have more books coming. I have books on passing. Um, I have The House on Tenafly Road. Um, there's so many other books. Again, like I said, Red River, um, Standing at the Scratch Line by Guy Johnson. I, there's so many books that I have I want to share with you guys, but I want to hear your thoughts about Cane River. With that being said, happy reading and be blessed.